Hi guys, it's Josh from JSSB TV. Um, just a couple of things really. Uh, the first thing is thanks for all your tremendous support on watching my videos. Without further ado, uh, we're going to get started. Uh, this is the Incase uh, Protective Sleeve Deluxe by Incase, obviously. Uh, this is for the 15 inch one. So, um, they do make, um, you know, it for the all, for all the MacBook Pro and MacBook lineup. Um, but as I have a 15 inch, I decided to get one. So, without further ado, let's start with the unboxing. So, this is the case. Um, this is how it is sold in the Apple Store. It'd be on one of them hangy things, or the danglers, as I like to call them. And you just pick it up. Uh, the prices for this is 50 bucks. Or forty pounds if you're in the UK. If you are in the UK, guys, it's not going to be named the uh, Protective Sleeve Deluxe. It'll be named the Protective Sleeve Plus. So if that helps out, it's a similar product. Uh, one thing that draw me to this product, guys, is the fact that it's got a, a little um, like a sleeve on the front. Not the actual this sleeve. The sleeve on the front to put you uh, bits and bobs in. So let's get underway. I'm just going to read some of the stuff off the package first because uh, I want to do that. And so that's the packaging case, very simple, nice packaging. Uh, so it says it fits all MacBook Pro 15 inches, uh, complete protection there, and airport security safe, which basically means when you go for an airport, you won't have to take your MacBook Pro out of this when it goes through a scanner. So that's good. Um, okay, the actual case itself, nice material, as I said, it's got a pouch on the front for things, and a white case, in case logo, uh, and zippers, let's have a look at the fabric on the inside before I show you the secret slot, uh, check the wadding out. So that's pretty deep, guys, and it's a really nice material. It's like a, it's like uh, like a really thick suede. So that's going to really cushion and protect your MacBook Pro. And it's got like sponges either side of that. So that's really nice. And it's also got another slot now. I bet you're probably thinking, oh, he's brought he's he's brought the zipper off already. No, it's like that because if you unzip it on this side, it's a slot. Now, can you guess what that slot's for? tell you when we get to the end of the video. So anyway, let's uh, put my MacBook Pro in, see how it looks. Slide it in there. So it's not one of these really ridiculously tight cases or rubber cases, guys, where you've got to really push and possibly scratch your MacBook Pro. Uh, just give it a shake, not too hard. There's plenty of clearance um, where the zippers are, guys, because this is the one thing I do say to everybody. If you buy a cheap case, there's no guarantee that the actual zippers, when it zips up like that, will clear your computer. It might actually scratch your computer or your MacBook, so let's zip that up. And I'll just bring them down there to the side. So, as you can see, pretty snug, pretty light. Uh, definitely pick that up with one hand that's nice now the slot and this slot can put anything really except a dead body but I can see me putting my Apple remote in there slide it in I could probably put my iPhone in there if I was doing some editing and stuff and you bits and bobs um, the deal breaker this was the deal breaker for me because I wanted one where I could just put everything now, uh, I am going to say you can put your uh, power brick or MagSafe adapter in there, but you're going to have to do it like this. You're going to have to slide it in like that. No issue getting it in there. But then, um, because I think the problem I've had with this cable is it doesn't uh, ravel up very well unless you like you read a manual for it, and I never read manuals, so yeah. Let's just wrap up pretty quick because I've not got time to waste. And then obviously that go in there pretty nicely. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I got it so I could put my power brick inside. But the other reason is 
I showed you that slot before, didn't I? So, careful not to pull that too hard. Say if you've got your uh, MagSafe data plugged into the wall, and you've got your MacBook in this bit here, in the case, and you want to charge it, do you have to take it out of the case? No, because, remember, if you put this in the right way, it shows all your slots on the side. Well, not all of them. Mainly the main ones, your MagSafe, USBs, Firewire, 800 and all that jazz. So, let's uh, say I want you to charge. Now, I'm not going to charge. Just for the purpose of this video, I want to show you how easy it is to get your MagSafe in there. So, you just go. I'll do it at an angle so you guys can see. One, two, three. And you're in there. So you could even zip that up to the bit. No, tell a lie you can. Um, so yeah, that fits in there really nicely. Uh, I'd definitely say if you're a Mac user and you want to protect your investment, if you get what I mean by that, I'd definitely get that because that is money well spent. Um, that's about it for me guys. Thank you to all of you who have uh, commented on my videos. I had an interesting conversation with a couple of YouTubers this week about MacBooks and MacBook Pros. Uh, check that out in the comments page and stuff like that. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I've got plenty more on the way. This has been Josh from JCSB TV, and we'll see you later. Take care of yourselves.